everybody, I'm Miss Lori. Welcome to my new channel, Markers and Mud Pies. Today, we're going to be making roly-poly traps using potatoes. You can use any kind of potato that you have in your house. A sweet potato maybe, or a red potato, or a regular old baking potato. If you find one in your pantry that's a little wrinkly, that's just fine. Today, I think I'll be using a baking potato. What you else you're gonna need for this is a fork and an adult who can help you with a sharp knife and the cutting board. For decorating your potato, you can use a bunch of different art supplies. You can use watercolors and watercolor markers. Now, if you use these and it rains, all the color will wash away, but that's fine. It's just a lot of fun to make your potato. If you want the color to last a little longer, you can use regular acrylic paint and some permanent markers. All right, let's have some fun and get started. The first step is to get an adult to cut the potato in half using a sharp knife and a cutting board. Cut the potato the long way and you'll be able to make two traps out of each potato. Next, take a fork and scratch along the cut side of the potato to make some ridges. Now it's time to decorate your potatoes. On the first half, I'm going to use watercolor markers. Just make any kind of design you want. It's just for fun. Remember, like I said before, if it rains, the watercolor markers will wash off, but that's okay. The roly-polies don't care. Okay, now I'm gonna get out my watercolors and paint over a little bit. I'll decorate the second half of my potato using permanent markers and acrylic paint. While I'm decorating my potato, I have to think about where I'm going to place my traps. I know that roly-polies or pill bugs are crustaceans. They don't have lungs and they use gills to breathe. So they have to stay in wet areas in order to breathe. But they can't swim, so you won't find them in puddles. Roly-polies are nocturnal, so they're active mostly at night. So I need to find a place in the soil that stays damp, that stays a little dark, and maybe stays a little cooler. I think I have the perfect spot at the side of my house in one of my raised bed gardens. When I'm finished painting my trap, I will let it dry and then we'll take them outside. The traps are dry now and I'm ready to put them in the garden. I found some damp soil and I'm already finding a few roly-polies. Let me see if I can show one to you close up. There it is. Let's put it back in the soil so it can find the trap. Look, there's one. Now we're gonna leave the traps here overnight and in the morning we'll come back and see if any roly-polies have found our potato traps. See you tomorrow. Good morning, let's see what we have. Our first trap, yep, look at all the roly-polies on that trap. I see some adults and I see small ones too. Let's check the other trap. Oh, that one worked as well. Try this at home. Comment below and let me know if you find any roly-polies in your traps. See you later.